All right, so to get started, assuming you already have Unity installed, we're going to want to download three things, starting with going to vrchat.com, clicking download, and downloading SDK3 avatars. And while that's downloading, we're going to head over to the FluffyD download page, and we're going to download the main Unity package right here. Click download on that. Head over to the Gumroad page for the Floof Kitty, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see the PC version of this avatar uses Pyomi Toon Shader, and then I will have the version number listed here. It might be different in the future, but at the time of recording, this is the version number we want. So we'll click this, that'll bring us over to the GitHub for Pyomi Toon. We will click download right here on the Unity package. And once those files are finished downloading, I'm just going to drag them over to the desktop. You can save them wherever you want. And then we're going to want to launch the Unity. And once our Unity loads, we will start by dragging in the SDK3. Let's just hit import. And once that finishes importing, we're going to want to try a Tomb Shader, click import. And again, wait for that to finish. And then finally, we're going to want to drag in the Floof Kitty package and just click import. And once that's done, we can finally get to work to get started. I first like to move my hierarchy over to the right side. That's just a personal preference. You don't have to do that. And we're going to click VR chat, show control panel. I'm going to dock this over here. You're going to want to log in. So now to actually get to the avatar, we're going to click the Floof Kitty folder. And you'll see these three scene files here. One is for the fallback version of the avatar. One is the PC version of the avatar. And one is the quest version of the avatar. In this case, we're just going to double click on the PC version. And that's going to open up the PC avatars. If you look over here in the hierarchy, you'll see there's two game objects here. One says PC jacket, one says PC hoodie. So these are basically just like folders. This one contains all the jacket loofs, and if you hide that one and show the hoodie one, these ones are all the hoodie ones. Some people get confused by the fact that there's there's no clothes on the avatars, but if you go to any of the avatars, put a drop down, and you go to blood shapes. The clothes are actually there, they're just hidden by default. If I change one of these, you'll see the different clothing. Only difference between the hoodie and the jacket is everything else is the same. Like, both have all of the uh, clothes. Besides, like I said, one has the jacket, one has the hoodie, if that makes sense. So that is up to you, which one you wanna use. So to actually upload the avatar, you can head back over to your VRC SDK. In the builder tab, you'll see each avatar in the scene here that we have shown. In this case, let's say we wanna upload the cheetah. So we'll select it here. Let's click build and publish for Windows. You may see this pop up saying the materials aren't locked. Just click OK. It will lock the materials. And once that's done, it'll bring us over to the game tab and we will see this menu here. This is where we can name our avatar. You can name it anything you want. You can give it a description if you'd like. And we can upload a profile picture here. If you want to set the profile picture, you can go back over to scene and you should see this camera icon in front of whatever avatar you are uploading. Click that and then click this little red square here and drag up and we'll just go right up to the profile picture like that. And you'll see in the preview here, that's what we want. Uh, I'm not sure why it's blank here. It shouldn't be blank, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to agree and we'll click upload. So once that's done, you should see upload complete. And then we can go and check to make sure everything is working well in game. All right, so here we are in game and we should see our avatar in our inventory here. And here it is, my floof. Just click that, change it to the avatar and everything should be working as expected. We can go in here, put on some clothes and everything is good. So that's really all you need to do to upload the avatar, uh, completely default. Um, if you want to upload the quest version of the avatar, you can actually go back, click on the avatar that you uploaded. You can copy the blueprint ID, and then you can open up the quest version, go to the same avatar, and just paste that pipeline ID, click attach, and then you would go back to the builder, you click on the cheetah again, or whatever avatar you are using, and then you just click switch to Android build and then you would build and publish it on the same ID. So that way PC users would see the PC version, Quest users would see the Quest version, or you could upload the fallback version and just use the fallback for adding whatever you want. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions or need help with anything, feel free to message me on Discord or Twitter or join our community Discord. All links will be down in the description.